be the glory of your presence, O oh God, take over. Roma fale sefradie satai. Zonos previes celes mascafahai. Reme sefradie kaskefredie zenerski he. No valaya. Me sefradies. Yae sefrahai satalo rogomba bavani askiteles. Zineve vos afradietes. I see two people right now wearing the garment of fire. I see in the realms of the spirit a garment come. It's a season of a fire to move it. It's of the spirit. And I saw a garment of fire. And the Lord said, This is the garment to rise. And mighty men will come with a strong grace and ocean. And I see that garment release upon two people now something is happening this is a mantle of prayer this is a mantle of fire and i saw people walking in the realms of fire right now that comment is coming upon somebody right now 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 i see somebody willing power like elijah on top of man camel changing the weather condition of my whole country i see somebody wielding power in the place of prayer opening the atmosphere over the whole city i see somebody wielding power over a territory and that government is coming up that glory is coming up that power is coming up that glory is coming up that power is coming up that glory is coming shut up uh, I sense it. So frete ke se frete ka kata lo shaba ripa teke karu shabra die reko safali ka repa tuasaya. I see it. 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 Receive that comment. Zaka matoko. Zebro Koferes Zebre Zebra Kwa Shafra Dietes Zebra Kwa Kasata Kataya Ripataka Sifre Teketaka Zebro Kobra Fata Kataya Zebre Teke Salaya Rabapandu Kusifre Dietataya Zipro confronta tataya Zipro como se fredia tataya Zipro coa cotoco zibra Zipro cotoco zibra Zabra kia que via tataya tataya Zipro cosetales Something is breaking out in this place Something is breaking out in this place The waters have been troubled the waters have been troubled. There's a stirring of the waters. There's a troubling of the waters. There is a stirring of the waters. Let it flow, let it flow. Let it flow, let it flow. Let it flow, let it flow. Oh, let it flow right here, right now. Let it flow, let it flow. Let it flow, let it flow. Let it flow, let it flow. So oh, let it flow right here, right now. Let it flow, let it flow, let it flow. Let it flow, let it flow. Let it flow, let it flow. Oh, let it flow right here, right now. As the river flows, it begins to bring everything to life. It's a life-giving river. Oh, let it flow right here, right now. And as the river flows, it begins to bring everything to life. It's a life-giving river. Oh, let it flow right here. The plants are come alive. Let it flow. Let it flow. Let it flow. Come alive. Let it flow. Let it flow. Come alive. Let it flow. Let it flow. Oh, let it flow 
and deliverer. We decree the liberty of the city. We speak by the authority of the blood. Who are thou, O mountain that stand up before Zerubbabel? By the authority of the cross, Roma fire, Yako Sane, Rapa Piakapa, Yako Rapia, Yefene Karua, Rapa Piako, by the authority of the blood, we stand on this land and we take our position in prayer and we decree the atmosphere is open. We speak over this territory, we prophesy into the wind, the four corners of an attack that have been consistent, Yako Rapia, the influence is cut off. The power is broken. The arrows are destroyed. The weapons are taken. We take hold of this. We lay a demand on this land. We lay a demand on the cancer. We take the name in the blood of the Lamb. We make a demand the land. We release the land. Rob a sire. Record. Go deeper in prayer. Woman of God, please. Woman of God, please. Man of God, please. Go in the grass. Ring a bell. of the gates of this city. Therefore we decree and declare. He said your seed shall possess the gates of the enemies. The gatekeepers have changed. The gatekeepers of this city have changed. 
Robopohosie. Lift up your head. Oh ye gates. And ye their everlasting doors be ye lifted. And the king of glory shall enter. Ancient gatekeepers that have kept the city and the gates of this city in the realms of the spirit. Tonight, under the influence of the anointing, we declare the gatekeepers have changed. The gate is opened. The people of God are sent into the throne of leadership in the realms of the spirit. Witches will not rule this city. Idol worshippers will not rule this city. Occult will not rule this city. We decree the kingdom of God is stepping into a rightful position. That anointing is coming. That power is released. That glory is released. But the authority of the spirit of God suffer around us. Listen, it's three days conference. You don't understand what we are doing, but we are but I'm here for an assignment. And the assignment is to address things in the realms of the supernatural. We are here to address things. Even if I don't address you, I'm addressing something behind you. And that thing understand what I'm doing. Ziva Londos. Pradia Kasala. Zevre Nerseteles. Zibro Confradietes. Lift up your hands to heaven. The necessary fire required to move this land that fire is coming upon the church Safradia. out of the mouth of infant and babes has god ordained strength and all of a sudden strange people will start praying for eight ten hours twenty hours on this land it will burn out strange prayer on she will come upon people strange 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 prayer on shame would come upon people i see some i see people here being clothed with strange prayer garments strange strange onshin strange onshin strange grace of prayer strange grace of a fire is about to move in in Kransa that had never been seen before this city is about to be revived in a strategic way but i see god clothing people with the garment of fire Matakazie, Zevrenes, Zenenese, Zibro Kumbra Farahasaya, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Now to the lamp upon the throne, we raise a sound. Somebody just give him praise and be seated. We raise a sound. We raise a Shall be seated in the presence of God. For he is God and God alone. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. From every nation, tribe, and all, we raise a sound. We raise give you glory we bless your holy name let lives be anointed tonight that grace come upon man let destinies never be the same 
Let the glory of your presence, O oh God, take over. Roma fale sefradie satai. Zonos previers celes mascafahai. Reme sefradie caskefrede zenerski. No valaya. Me sefradies. Yae sefrahai satalo. Rogomba bavani askiteles. Zineve vos afradietes. I see two people right now wearing the garment of fire. I see in the realms of the spirit a garment come. It's a season of a fire to move it's of the spirit. And I saw a garment of fire. And the Lord said, This is the garment to rise. A mighty man will come with a strong grace and ocean. And I see that garment release upon two people now something is happening this is a mantle of prayer this is a mantle of fire and i saw people walking in the realms of fire right now that garment is coming upon somebody right now 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 i see somebody willing power like elijah on top of man camel changing the weather condition of my whole country i see somebody wielding power in the place of prayer opening the atmosphere over the whole city i see somebody wielding power over a territory and that government is coming up that glory is coming up that power is coming up that glory is coming up that power is coming up that glory is coming shut out ah i sense it so fredeka se preteka kata lo shaba ripa teke karu shabra dia record safali yaka rapa tua shaya I see it 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 receive the comment zaka matoko zobro koferes. Zebra kwa shafra dietes. Zebra kwa kasata kataya. Ripa taka sifre teke taka. Zebra kobra fata kataya. Zebra deke salaya. Rapa pandu kusifre dia tataya. Zebra kofra dataya. Zipro ko shefra dia tetetete. Zipro ko akoto ko zipra. Zipro ko to ko zipa. Zabra kia ko zia ta 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 ta. Zipro ko shetales. Something is breaking out in this place. Something is breaking out in this place. The waters have been troubled. The waters have been troubled. There's a stirring of the waters. There's a troubling of the waters. There is a stirring of the waters. Let it flow, let it flow. Let it flow, let it flow. Let it flow, let it flow. Oh, let it flow right here, right now. Let it flow, let it flow. Let it flow, let it flow. Let it flow, let it flow. Oh, let it flow right here, right now. Let it flow, let it flow, let it flow. Let it flow, let it flow. Let it flow, let it flow. Oh, let it flow right here, right now. As the river flows, it begins to bring every death into life. It's a life-giving river, oh let it flow right here, right now. And as the river flows, it begins to bring every death into life. It's a life-giving river. Let it flow right here. The plants that come alive, let it flow. Let it flow, let it flow. Come alive, let it flow, let it flow. Come alive, let it flow, let it flow. Oh, 
Wherever you are, please lift up your voice. It's a season, it's a season. Ziga da bagos. Robo bondo go zebra dika fekaska para gazais. Riba dak fene eske predika sita gazai. Robo bondo go ziba baske predika sita gazai. Raba bondo shede predika sita gazaga bashondo. Lift up a voice and talk to God. Lift up a voice and talk to God. Lift up a voice. Is another morning. It's a week, it's a week of the power of God, and you want to communicate with Him, you want to interact with Him, you want to interact with God, and you want to lift up a voice this morning. Share it, get online, get online on Facebook, on YouTube, and get the line, get it on your status, get it on the on your group, get somebody, share it to somebody to pray this morning, and the power of God is here, Kadabaziata Zandis. Zedebege eske predika sita gazako brovande esketele Zebebente gazike brogonto gosipa banta Agaske le gosa rabadie Vebredika sita gazia kombrogonto gosipe Mishke predika sike de gonto gosopro gosa Rababande gazike Lift up a voice wherever you are Send a link to everybody Get it to somebody Open your mouth and talk to God this morning It's a special morning It's a last week is the last day of the week of the power of God in a mantaga ziga rigondo gosobro gose rekete gazike begonto gosipa mashka pradika sike brogonto gosipa mashke pradika seke brogonto gosipa banta ragaske le gose raba banta gaziga regaske le gonto gosipa mishke pradika seke de gonto gosipa mishke pradia kazak agua kutoko Glory to God, bless your holy name. Minta fefene gazika de gosa rabadua, rigaske le gosa rabadai, ribadus imeneke feke bradika siata, ragaske le gosa, rababande feke de gazeke de gonto gosipe, mishke predika sika bagua, ragaske le gosa rabadiko si predia, ragaske le gosa. Rabba Banta, Rigas le gosa, Rabba Bonto Gosipe, Mishke Predica, Sika Brogondo Gosiba, Hinda Gazietes. You want to lift up a voice and cry this morning. The Bible says that, and the Lord God raised David, and the Lord God raised David as a king, and instead, and the Lord God raised David as a king, instead of Saul in the power in Israel, and the Lord said, The Lord unto him all the land and the territory and his enemies. The Bible says that I found my servant David and with my holy oil have I anointed him. You want to cry the Father of God in this season in the ministry, in everywhere. Father, raise men of power. Raise men of God with authority. Raise men of God that walk in glory. Raise men of God that walk in power and walk in authority. Let men be raised in this end time with the hand of God and with the power of God. Raise men of power, O God, as we travel. Let the grace of God and the Lord grace raise up David. Father, raise men of power, O God, in this our generation. Raise men, O God, with authority in this end time generation let the hand of god that raised men hannah said the other day he said 
God is an expert for he raised up the poor and the beggar out of the dunghill and set them among princes and sent them in, in the noble places. Father, O oh God, by the, by the power and by the workings of the Spirit, raise men, O oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus, lift up a voice and talk to God that the grace of God will raise men of power, the hand of God will raise men of authority, the grace of God will raise people of power in this our generation. Lift up a voice somebody get the link to somebody share it with somebody get somebody get somebody get it to somebody somebody lift up a voice and talk to god lift up a voice and talk to god lift up a voice and talk to god bagaske rigadus in my mente aski pradiete zada bakua katale fefen aski pradiete Mosaka Babanta, Rigaske le gonto cosipa, Mishke predica sika bagonto cosipa, Mishke predica sike brogonto cosipa, Mashaka bradike feke bradia, Regaske le gonto cosipa, Mishke predica feko brogonto cosipa, Mishke pradia kazaka, Ragaske le gonto cosipa, Mishke predica sika brogonto cosipa, Mishke predia kazaka, Ragoa kutaka venene setele askipa, Zede Babanta. We decree and declare, we decree and declare men of power, men of grace, men of glory, men of power are being raised. We decree the hand of God, that hand of God that raises men of power is upon a generation. We decree that the end time people of strength, people of capacity, people of power, we decree their emerging, Bakuakatai, Rigondo Gosipa, we decree that men that walk in authority, walk in power, are emerging by the power of the Holy Ghost. We decree that the hand of God that raises people, has come upon men in the name of Jesus. We decree and declare Manto Kuzebre Fene Eske Predike Pekodo Bogondo Ragaske Legosa Rabba Rigaske Fradika Pakua Kata Rigando Grosem Redike Pekob Rogondo Ragaske Legosa Rabba Dai Rigaske Brogondo Mosob Rogondo Kuzebre Dike Pekobra Santa Rigaske Legondo Mashke Predike Pekob Rogondo Kuzebre Mishke Predika Ragaske Legondo Gosiba, Mishke Predike Pecobro Gonto Gosiba, Mishke Predia, Ragaske Legos, Rabadu Cosipredia, Regaske Legondo, Mashke Predica, Pecobro Gonto Gosiba, Mishke Predica, Ragaske Legondo Gosipre, Fkeskelege, Gadus Amradite, Rigasco Brogonto Gosiba, Mishke Predica, Pecobro Gonto Gosiba, in the mighty name of Jesus. I see Grace here. This week is the power of God. This week, the glory of God. This week, the hand of God is on this line. And I see the grace of God operating here. Glory to God. Somebody, if you're online, just share it. Get somebody. And as many that are shouting, amen, typing, amen, commenting, amen, the power of God will visit you. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus, the power of God will visit you. In the mighty name of Jesus. So, we have to understand this week when we talked, we've looked, we've looked at the history of the name of Jesus. And we have come to the understanding that the name of Jesus is given to the church. And when we say the name of Jesus, it is, it is not empty. So the understanding of the name of Jesus will let the believer walk in authority. So the name is given to the, to the, desire, to the people as a tool. We, we understood when Exodus chapter 4, the verse 14, the Bible said, the Bible said unto, unto, Saul, unto, unto Moses, the Lord said, take this rod wherewith you will do signs and wonders. Because without the rod, Pharaoh will not let you go just for a bargain. Because Pharaoh is a resistance, is a force, is power, and Pharaoh will not let you go. So God knew that until Moses go to Pharaoh with power and authority, Pharaoh will so cage them. And so God knows that power is necessary for the call of Moses. So he added a rod. He said, take the rod with you, you will do signs and wonders. And we read and understand in Isaiah chapter 11 that the Bible said that, that, the Bible said that a branch shall come out of the root of Jesse and, and, a, and, a, and, a, and a rod or a stem shall come out of his branch. And then we know that that rod was prophetically connecting to Jesus. And when Jesus died and conquered, his name conquered every name that is on the earth. And his name is given above every other name on the earth. And in the name of Jesus is the work of Jesus. And the work of Jesus was that he, he paralyzed 
force and darkness every force of darkness jesus overcame so the name is the sum of everything that he did and when that name is hold in you know in faith and it declared wherever it is declared power is manifesting because that name had already taken authority and that is the authority he gave the church he gave us authority and the right to use that name against all forces in mark chapter in mark 16 the verse 17 he said he said and these signs shall follow them that believe in my name they shall cast out devils when the name of jesus is carried in the place devils tremble because jesus himself was a man over devils master over forces master over every issue so anybody that carry that name in faith is a master over circumstances and i know that this week of the power of god by revelation in the name of jesus i see you walk in authority and i see you walk in power glory to god glory. oh what a blessing please share the link invite somebody get somebody to be part of the meeting get somebody to be part of the meeting. glory to god get somebody to be part of the meeting today and then we also understood we also came to a point to to understand what it means what the word of god actually means and we we found we found out in isaiah 55 when we read the verse 10 11 was like the water that came upon the earth and watered the earth so that it bring forth fruit he said so is my word that is coming out of my mouth it is not going empty and so it will not come void the lord will prosper the word will prosper in the thing where unto i send it so the word of god proclaimed by god is not empty it is loaded what is loaded in psalm 62 the verse 11 he said once has he spoken twice have i heard that power belongs to god so the word of God is full of what? Number one, it is full with the nature of God. The Bible says that the Bible says that in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. So anytime God wanted to be somewhere, his nature is his word. It represents him. The Bible, the, the Bible says that in, in Isaiah, in Psalm 107, the verse 20, the Bible says that he sent his word, and the word delivered them, and the word healed them from all their distractions. When men are in trouble and they want power to liberate them, God would always release a word. Many times people are looking for a sign, visible thing, but when the word of God comes, it is God with you. It is God with you. And the word became flesh. And the word dwelt among us. And we beheld his glory as the only begotten son of the father, full of grace and full of truth. So the word had capacity to visit every destiny. In the name of Jesus so time the word of god is believed and spoken in faith signs and wonders keep on happening and i see somebody walking in power i see somebody walking in authority i see somebody walking in power i see somebody walking in authority i see somebody walking in power so so we say that the word of god the word of god actually is not just empty it's loaded with the virtues of god because the word of god was a creative force that created everything so the, everything respond to the word now we want to today i just want us to look at something because today we are dealing with the power of god and today might be the last of this week and i want you to open your spirit up before we lift up prayer so pray i want you to understand something in the scripture basically the medium of deity the medium of deity is spirit and so anytime god want to deal with people he deal with them in the spirit now the bible say that when when jesus was having a discussion glory to god i'm i'm just i'm just seeing the grace of god this morning and the glory of god this morning the presence of god this morning the power of god this morning oh somebody just it is raining 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 somebody share the link share the link now get it to somebody now somebody now talk to somebody now you see when you look at the scripture when jesus was having a discussion with that woman um with the woman at the well and this was a very important discussion if you go through our scripture because you got to understand that you got to understand the dynamics of what jesus actually had to do as the new birth from the world and the discussions of the water but on the premise of that jesus made a statement that god is a spirit and they that worship him should worship him in spirit and then jesus said that 
God is looking for search to worship. So there are people that are looking for God and God is looking for some type. And the type he's looking for is in the spirit medium, spirit to spirit. So when it comes to God, the realm of man, the realm of humanity is over because God is looking for a type, a breed, a type, a kind, a realm that he's looking for. And I know that, and that medium is spirit. So whether God the Son, God the Father, or God the Holy Spirit, somebody share the link, God the Holy Spirit, the medium of interacting with God is spirit. Now, you can have like water. Those of you that studied the study side, you, you have a water. Water can be ice. Water can be, that means it's solid. Water can be vapor. Water can be liquid. But whichever state you encounter water, the composite or the constituent of it is called H2O. So, whether water is solid, water is liquid, water is vapor, whatever medium it is, the very constituent is H2O. So, the essence of God is spirit. Why is the spirit so powerful? You see, you see, the Bible says that the spirit that proceeded out of the Father. Now, God is on the throne, and God cannot be felt only through his spirit. Like the way, like the way fire, fire can only be experienced through heat. If the heat component of what of fire is taking you cannot experience fire because fire fire itself is not hot but the heat energy produced by fire is what makes you know that fire is around there is something that god produced there is something that is his essence there is something that emanates from god it's called his presence and that presence is what makes you experience the reality of god so in that medium god can be felt without that transmission of that energy god can be there but god cannot be felt Without that transmission of the energy, God present, the word of God can be there, but cannot have fulfillment. And that's what Jesus said. Glory to God. Glory. Is somebody here on this altar? It is raining. It is raining. This this this, this morning, this morning, people are wake them up. I can't sense them online. I can't feel them online. I can't sense them online. Glory, glory to God. I wanted to lay a very f solid foundation. I want to lay a very solid foundation which I know it will bless and it will be very important for your foundation to relate with God and, and, and Jesus speaking in, and, and talking to the people and he said a very strong statement. He said the words that I speak unto you, they are spirit until they come give life. And I mean the word of God without the spirit of God, that is why Paul wrote a letter and said that the letter kill it. It is the spirit that give her life. So, so the letter, which is the word that people just read, without the spirit, it cannot produce life. So why is it that it's only the spirit medium that the power of God is transmitted? And we can see this principle throughout the Bible. In the book of Genesis, chapter 1, the Bible says that when you go to the verse 2, the word was without form. And darkness was upon the surface of the deep. And the spirit of God moved. So when, when there was nothing, nothing is what the, the atmosphere was conditioned by the spirit of God. And then God said, without the atmosphere of the spirit, the word of God would not have produced a resource. So the, the spirit always proceed before the word of God comes because in the spiritual atmosphere, the word will produce resource. So it means therefore that the spirit becomes the main medium for the transmission of life. Now listen, when God was speaking to Moses, he told them, he said, the life of the, the, life of the flesh is in the blood. When the, when, 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 the, when the blood is off, that man dies because the transmission of everything that is in him takes place within his blood. So what are we talking about? The life of God is in the spirit. And so once, once, once the spirit is not there, the essence of God is not around. So, it, so when the word is spoken, and the word is not spoken under the influence of the spirit. It is the word of God, but the life of God is not in it. So what actually makes the word produce results is the life that is in it. So when the, when the word comes out of the spirit medium, it produces the, the results that we want to see. So you can see that, you can, you can, you can see that, hallelujah. Oh, please call somebody, talk to somebody, talk to somebody. So we can see from the scripture that the life of God is transmitted via the Holy Spirit. 
is transmitted via the Holy Spirit. You know, when the time God wants to raise people, he raised them by the Spirit. By the Spirit. He said, I have found my servant David, and with my holy oil have I anointed him. I have found my servant David, and I see the holy unction being released upon somebody. I see the anointing of the Holy Spirit coming upon somebody powerfully. I see destinies being raised by the authority of the Spirit. The mighty name of Jesus. So you walk through the scripture, whether it is the prophet, whether it is a businessman, or whoever he raised, there's something God gives to them. It's something called his spirit. Now, the children of Israel and the children of the world, what was the difference? It was their relationship with the spirit of God. Because we can see, we can see that when God called Abraham, he gave him something, and it's called the blessing of Abraham. You see? It's called the blessings of Abraham. And you could see that that promise to Abraham was a promise of the spirit. God, after Jesus dying, he said, go and wait because I sent unto you the promise of the Father. Now, the promise of the Father is the Holy Spirit because the Holy Spirit was a promise that they received on the day of Pentecost. What actually does it mean? What does it mean? That the Spirit, the, the Spirit actually is a manifestation. Hallelujah. The Spirit of God. God did not promise a man a car. God did not promise a man a heaven. God did not promise a man businesses. Everything God promised is in their spirit. Once you cut it, you have the manifestation. So whatever you want to do for God is, is in their spirit. Without which you cannot do it. So you look at throughout the Bible, anybody God wants to give anything, empower to take a nation and power to take a territory god empowers the person by a spirit and those the spirit is a supernatural energy or the essence of god with a man that causes the man to enter into the class of god so whenever a man is having the spirit his natural weakness is terminated he tap into the energy of god and the results of god is seen in his life this is simple. When God was calling the people of Israel from Egypt, he said, I would give you and the angel of my presence shall go ahead of you. And he said, he will bring you into the Amorite, the Hittite, the Gar Garishite, and the Perizzite. He said, and I will cut them off. Oh, somebody's not here this morning. Somebody's not here this morning. Somebody's, somebody share the link, share the link, share the link. My goodness, my goodness. So God said, I will cut the people off. How would I cut them off? Because my, the angel of my presence. And the angel of God's presence is the Holy Spirit. And I see somebody receiving a fresh impartation of the unction of the Holy Ghost. A fresh impartation of the unction of the Holy Ghost. I don't know if somebody is here with me this morning. But, but there's a fresh impartation of the unction of the Holy Spirit. We are on Facebook, we are on YouTube. Please, let's Now. When God wants to raise people, that is the only that is a medium by which God raises them. That is a medium from the old testament to the new testament. You know, when when Samson walked with God, what a mysterious man, and somebody would be mysterious in your days. You'll be strange in your days, you'll be unusual in your days in the mighty name of Jesus. When Samson, when Samson was on uh, walking with men, you see, when we read the story of Samson, we may think he's a giant. He's a big man with muscles. But the secret of the strength of Samson was not in his muscles. The secret was the token of the spirit. And so when Samson was anointed and kept the secret of the anointing, a man can carry the city gate of Gaza. I'm not talking about the house gate or the gate to a house. I'm talking about the Old Testament, a gate to a whole city. If you have never seen it before, you can Google and search for it, how the gates are made. These are no small room doors. A man, by the help of God, can hold a whole city gate. And when he carried it on his shoulder, not only for a kilometer, not for a mile, and the man will walk far away and drop it down within the valley. What kind of unusual person that walk like that? Listen to me. A man can cut 300 foxes. 430 foxes, yes. If men can catch the number of foxes, I'm telling you, try to catch even one goat. And you see that catching a goat is even difficult. 
But with what strength would a man catch foxes, tie them, and set fire on them? That is supernatural. One night, the guy lost the secret. And he woke up as usual and wanted to try with his muscles. He tried and the strength was gone. The ability given to Samson was not in his hair. It was in the spirit. So God empowered men for supernatural results by the activity of the anointing. David became a conqueror, became a mighty man, raised great men because he said, I found my servant David and with my holy oil have I anointed him. So the anointing of the Holy Ghost is what introduced men into the realm of the possibilities of God. It is what terminates a man's natural instinct and ability and push him into the supernatural. If a man is with the Holy Spirit, nothing is impossible. He has the capacity to enter into the divine realm. And I see somebody go into that dimension. I see the power of God upon the person. Listen to me. I said after today, understanding the Holy Spirit, things will turn around you. Things will change around you. Things will, things will turn around around you in the mighty name of Jesus. You see, so you read in the Old, you read in the Old Testament, you realize that actually in the Old Testament, the oil which represents the Spirit in this our generation was not all that they used. To even anoint the priest. In the book of in the book of Exodus, let me read this scripture for you. Glory to God. In the book of Exodus, chapter 30. Chapter 30. The verse 22. The Bible said, Moreover, a glory to God. The atmosphere is full of the presence of the Holy Spirit. There is nothing impossible after today. You will not carry that disease. You will not carry that name. You will break every barrier. You will walk into possibilities. You will speak to business. You speak to dead bones. You speak to things. They will respond because the unction of the Holy Ghost is upon you. Weaknesses will change. Stories will turn around. Men will come out of or come after limitation because of the power of the Holy Spirit. Moreover, in Exodus 30, the verse 22, Moreover, the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Take thou also unto thee principal spices. Parogo sebredietes. Take unto these principal spices. So these are the things. It's a pure mare, pure mare, five shekels of Sweet cinnamon, half of much, so much, even 250 shekels. Sweet calamus, 250 shekels. Of casia, 500 shekels. After the, central, after the shekel of the sanctuary, and oil, olive, and in. So these are the things God told him. Pick these things. And you shall make it into an oil, holy oil, ointment. And an ointment compounded after the art of apocary. And it shall be holy anointing oil. So the holy anointing oil was not olive. The holy anointing oil was with acacia. It was with mer. It was with the cinnamon. It was, it was with sweet calamus. These are the things they put together to call it ointment, not oil. And this is what they used to anoint the priests and anoint the people of God into office. So when God is, when the, when the anointing that is the ointment is being put upon the people, it was not the oil only. So there was a mixture of certain ingredients by which they put on the priest. And so those ingredients are mixed with the oil. So when the Holy Spirit is coming, the Holy Spirit is not just empty. There is a mixture of very strong ingredients that is imparting into the life in which he is coming into. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We, we ought to understand that when you go through, I don't have time, but you can Google, you can research. You can research about all the ingredients that I just mentioned. And you realize that the myrrh, it has a fragrance. Uh, and, and, and it is used for the treatment and medicine. It is used for treatment of infections, of, 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 uh, of wounds, the cinnamon. You see, all of them had treatment of corruption of wounds and of disease. Um, most, 
most of most of them like like their frankincense it is when you place in somebody it is deterrent to even snakes and the presence of snakes in your environment because because of when you want to chase some snakes from your area you just put them there it has a, it has a presence of taking them out some of them some of them are for preservation and for environment if you don't want bodies to spoil it's used to embalm the body and make it strong so when the holy spirit is coming when they are anointing me and when the anointing is coming up people it's not just an oil in that ingredient it's a powerful force that preserves destiny from rotting it preserves destiny from sickness it keep it keep i mean i mean i mean even the cinnamon you can you can even check it is also used even for anti-aging if you want to prevent people from aging it is applied to them that is people from aging so in the spirit even the spirit can pause your growth that if somebody want to aim to reduce aging you want to get away with wrinkles and get away with aging the holy spirit had the capacity no wonder the bible says that if the spirit of him that is christ from the dead if the holy spirit dwells in your mortal body he will quicken it bring it alive and give it energy so when the holy spirit is introduced into your life when the holy spirit is introduced in your life it is not the holy spirit is not just an oil it's an essence now this is it is it when the holy spirit come we read we read we read in the new testament that the holy spirit has gift so we know that god gave us christ so the holy spirit has gift and so the gift of god is in the holy spirit and we know them now after jesus also died the life of jesus was actually immersed into the spirit we call it the fruit, the character, and the resource of Jesus. When you want to produce the life of Jesus, the life of Jesus is also in the spirit. That's why when the Holy Spirit comes into you, the Bible says that Christ in you, the hope of glory. So the life of Jesus is actually infused into the Holy Spirit. Now let's, let's look at prophetic indication of the Holy Spirit upon the life of Jesus. Oh, something is happening this morning. I don't know if I'm communicating. We came for we came for prayer this morning, but I want you to understand something. I want you to understand something. And when you understand that, your prayer life, your relationship with the Holy Spirit will change to another dimension. In the book of in the book of Isaiah, chapter eleven. In the book of Isaiah, chapter eleven, we saw this Mantoko Bradiatas. In the book of Isaiah, chapter eleven. Oh, I see grace already upon somebody. The power, the power of God is upon you. The glory of God is upon you. The anointing is already upon you. The hand of God. So when the Holy Spirit is coming upon you, the Holy Spirit is not empty. I want you to understand that. I want you to understand that you are receiving something dangerous. You have encountered something dangerous. You have encountered something greater. You have encountered something powerful. In Isaiah chapter 11, oh my God, you cannot encounter the Holy Spirit and remain the same. It's impossible. The Bible says, therefore, there shall, a, there shall come forth a rod out of the stem. Branch shall grow out of its root. A rod shall come forth out of the stem of Jesse. We are talking about Jesse. And a branch shall grow out of his root. Hallelujah. We have gone deep down into the history of David because we didn't even start with David. A branch was growing out there. And the spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him. The spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him. So the branch that is coming, talking about Jesus, the spirit of God, the spirit of God will rest upon Jesus. The Bible says, the spirit of wisdom. <laughs> the spirit of the lord that is the lording spirit it's not the servant spirit it's called the lording spirit the spirit of the lord it's called the lording spirit the spirit of the most high god the lord is upon him the spirit of wisdom the spirit of understanding the spirit of counsel the spirit of might the spirit of knowledge and the spirit of the fear of the lord these are the thing that is coming upon jesus as the holy spirit is coming this is when the holy spirit is coming this is all the emblem that is resting upon jesus 
when you received the holy spirit into you what actually did you receive and when the spirit came upon jesus said, this is what the spirit the lording spirit is upon him no matter whose spirit no matter what force there is a lord that is upon you there is a lording spirit a spirit that is not a servant a spirit that is not a servant it doesn't nobody rules that spirit nobody dominates that spirit you yourself you don't even dominate him he's a lord he controls everybody and there is nobody that will control that spirit the lord in spirit my goodness if we are talking about men he would he, the spirit is an alpha spirit it's not a servant not controlled by anybody nobody would control that spirit when you are in baptized with the holy spirit the spirit of the lord is upon you you cannot be baptized with the Holy Spirit and not walk in the Spirit of the Lord and then the Spirit of wisdom which means wisdom had already been imparted by reason of the Holy Spirit you have the Spirit of wisdom you have the Spirit of counsel oh my goodness you have the spirit of understanding and then the spirit of exploits is called might and power so the person who is with the holy spirit whether in business whether in ministry wherever they put you exploits is your nature wherever they place you power exploits is your nature because you have the capacity and ability to do exploits you cannot be limited and you cannot be subdued because something powerful was given to you by the via the holy spirit the understanding of what you have makes you communicate what the dimensions of the holy spirit my goodness my goodness look at somebody and say i am anointed look at somebody and tell the person i'm anointed when we say somebody is the anointed of the lord oh my god the anoint the appointed the anointed the anointed the appointed when we say that, what actually are we talking about? If you are from an Africa, you know that the people, there are some people that have fetish priests and fetish people. Among them, there are some of them that the spirits are left. And when the spirits are left, one is that they have given him to the gods. And so, and so there is a place called, among the many places, among the many places, among the many places that you you can call on that spirit but there's a certain location that when you want to interact you have to travel to that place because there is something that they have done there that had trapped that spirit so that spirit had been trapped in that place so whenever you want to interact with that spirit you have to travel down they say called the shrine when you got born again there is a supernatural realm there is a dimension that god want to be trapped with all this essence and this attribute and you became the very grounds on which that was trapped and so and so the whole place is that to be anointed or to be appointed is that you have been trapped by the spirit and you are the one that, that the dimensions of the spirit want to manifest in the natural so you have become the point that is why we see paul began to say some dangerous things that you are the shrine of god the temple of god what actually he means is that the deity which is this invisible realm has selected you to become a physical representative of him that through you this all power and realm of the spirit may have expression through you so you have become you have become the medium for the expression of the spirit realm so you are the temple of god that temple of god is not just a house you have become the portal of god you have you have become the the medium with which god manifests himself visibly upon the earth somebody is entering into another dimension somebody is walking in another dimension somebody is walking in another realm somebody is walking in another dimension somebody is walking in another realm somebody is walking in another dimension in the mighty name of jesus so actually the holy spirit carrier of the essence of god the nature of god, the good of god it's like the holy spirit is not empty you see it's like it's like it's like water if you are drinking water that is different but if you are thirsty milo it can quench your test milo is a mystery that something is in the, is added into it the holy spirit is a deep concentrated mystery 
that the, the Holy Spirit is a deep mixture of all the attribute of God, all the attribute of, of, of all the attribute of Christ. Everything about God is only expressed in the spirit. And so whenever the Holy Spirit is moving, the Holy Spirit is deeply concentrated with every attribute of God. Now, when Jesus was walking with the disciples, Manta Gaziatis, when Jesus was walking, I'm just rushing through because I want us to lift up a voice of prayer. When Jesus was walking with the disciples, he told them, he said, I am with you, but very soon I will not be there, but I will be with you again. And when I leave, I will not leave you orphans, orphans, as people that doesn't have somebody that you can interact with. He said, but I will send you another comforter. That word is alos. alos a type. Heteros is a type of kind. So if I want to have a mango, I can give you another mango, but it's a different type. Uh, we have so many types of so many things. But he said, I'm going to bring you another type in another form. The same type in another form. And he was talking about himself. So when Jesus was with the people, he was the God among them. When Jesus was with the disciples, he was the miracle worker among them. When the Jesus was with the people, he was the teacher among them. When Jesus was with the people, he was the career of the essence of God. And when Jesus left, the Holy Spirit is a representative of deity upon the earth. When Jesus, you see, when Jesus, when Jesus brought the Holy Spirit, he brought every essence of God into humanity. And he told the disciples that it is even better for me to go. It is for your advantage because when the Spirit comes, I see somebody walking in another realm. I see somebody walking in another dimension. I see somebody walking in another dimension, another realm, another power, another dimension. You are about to be intoxicated. Lima sobra hasahaya. When somebody is taken over by the Holy Spirit, that person, you see, you see, most of the times, there is an influence of the Holy Spirit that when it comes, many people think that they are not of your mind. But listen to me. When the true power of God is upon you, this world cannot resist you. When the true power of God is upon you, no background can keep you down. When the true power of God is upon you from your body from your mind from your emotions to your health from your health to everything is already open up now listen look every time God want to introduce a destiny to the earth the one thing that God is careful about is to anoint the person have read to is consistent throughout all the scriptures throughout the scriptures even to the point that I was thinking about the Zerubbabel and when I was thinking about Zerubbabel, this is a governor, a king, that wanted to build the house of God. In the days when the people were poor and there was no money on the land because the poverty was so severe. The prophet Haggai even told Zerubbabel that he should be strong and do it. For God said, the, the gold is mine, the silver is mine. I will shake the heaven and I will shake the earth. And I will fill this house with wealth and glory. The, bu the building was building was a building that Solomon builded with gold. When Solomon was building his temple, Solomon had gold and Solomon used gold. This is a guy who is coming to build the same building and he has nothing. Only broke people from poverty coming, from slaves coming. And God gave a word through the mouth of Zechariah the prophet and said, speak to Zerubbabel. In the book of Zech Zechariah 4, the verse 6, he said, speak to Bar Zerubbabel. Tell him it is not bad. Tell him it's not by power. Tell him but by my spirit, the Lord, that what you are about to do, Solomon did it with wealth. Solomon did it with money. But you, there is no money around you. But listen to me, you are going to do it by power. You, you are going to do it by the anointing. And so what people can do with money, you will do it with the anointing. What people did it with doctors, you do it with the anointing. What people did it with connection, you do it by the anointing. What people did it by experience, you do it by the anointing. The same temple that Solomon built with gold, somebody is building, and the prophetic word is not going to be by mind. It's not going to be by power. Yours is going to be by the Spirit. Say it, the Lord. And so, and, and so it is so amazing, it's so interesting. That even physical temple that ought to be built and that ought re that need resources, God so told the man of God 
that the yours, the results are going to come. The money would come. The blessing would come. And you will complete this thing, this project, not by the physical strength they did, but by the anointing. <laughs> when the anointing is upon you, you are dangerous. I was listening to a man of God. A man of God, he said, even he was in a very remote area. And he said, and somebody walked to his church and dropped one million dollars. I mean, by the anointing, strange things would come. By the anointing, strange happenings take place. But you are anointed with the spirit. You are not an ordinary man again. You have been taken by the spirit realm. And 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 every essence of the spirit is given to you. Now let, let me let me push it. Let me read the scripture as we pray. In the book of Ephesians. In the book of Ephesians. Oh my goodness. You cannot be stopped. You cannot be limited. You cannot be be limited in the book of Ephesians when Paul was praying he was praying for the people to understand when we received God the kind of power that we receive oh my god I love this book of Ephesians chapter 1 when you read from the verse 16 and he said um, for this cause I bow my knees unto the Lord and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ he said of whom family both in heaven and earth is named that he may give you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him. The eyes of your understanding will be enlightened. So your eyes, your eyes will be enlightened. That you may know what is the hope of his calling. And what is the exceeding riches of his inheritance in the saints. You see, so you begin to know the inheritance that God had deposited in the saints. The inheritance. And what is the exceeding greatness. Of his power to each us what now the exceeding greatness of his power now his power look at the terms Paul is using to describe the power that God has given to us the exceeding greatness of his power exceeding alone power is okay greatness power is okay but he used three different words exceeding greatness of his power to us what according to the working of his mighty power which he wrought in Christ when he raised him from the dead and set him at his own right hand far above all principalities and powers. And every name that is named, not only in this world, but that which is to come, and gave him to be head over all things to the church. Now, let's look at the exceeding greatness of his power to us. When the Holy Spirit came into you, listen to me. We all tap power. Like Ghana, there is a place where we generate the power. And it's called the Kosombo. But now look. The Bible says that then the whole Akosombo, that the generation of God's power is now the resident in you. The power had now been carried by the Holy Spirit. And the power, now, the power had already been deposited in you. You are, by the reason of the Holy Spirit in you, you are not just tapping into power from heaven. The power source, the whole power source had now been deposited. And that is the exceeding greatness of his power to us what who believe. This is the inheritance of the believer. In you is the power of God. You are the generator. Mazagada Siata. No wonder Paul told the Ephesians in 3.20. He said that you able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that you ask or think according to the power that is generated on the inside. And so the believer, when we begin to speak in tongues, when we begin to pray, what actually we are doing is that we are not just only tapping into power from God. We are generating power from within. No wonder the Bible will say that Elijah was a man subject to like passions as you and I. But he prayed earnestly. And he prayed that it might not rain. The Bible says that the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availed much. That means it produced much power. So, a belief, listen to me. You can stir so great power within you. You can stir so might power within you. Listen, what you carry on the inside by virtue of the Holy Ghost is bigger than any occultic power, bigger than any witchcraft coven. One person, one believer, what you carry is bigger than everything. Now, listen to me. In terms of greatness, in terms of greatness, Paul, uh, John, the, John uh, the apostle says something that greater is he that is he. In, in 1 John chapter 2, he said, 
said the unseen you have received abided in you there is something that you have received that is in you it's called god's generator god generator. you call you 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 have the you have the generating force that the great power do you know that power energy and those of you who studied a bit of science you know energy energy they said energy is not created energy can't be destroyed but energy is generated but then energy can be converted from one form to another so when energy is in you it can be converted the power source that entered your house the same power source is the one that power your fridge it power also your your burner and your cooker it, it powers your iron it depends on the use you want the energy can be converted when you carry the energy of the holy ghost no matter what you want to do the energy is available once it is an energy it does exploits everywhere if you want in business that power will if you are in ministry that power will manifest if you want to heal the sick that power will manifest you want to open the eyes of the blind that power will manifest if you get into a place where they are demonic attack the power will manifest the power is able where you are student the power will manifest because wisdom is of the spirit and the more you channel that that in that area ignorance will be broken Kenneth Hagen said when the when he got baptized in the holy spirit he was the last in his class couldn't understand anything is that he got filled with the holy spirit started speaking in tongues he didn't he didn't increase his studies skill he only increased his meditation and then his focus on the spirit is that by the time they went to grade five he was the best in the class that by the wisdom and the power of the holy ghost nobody nobody should sell with people in the market and they are beating you there no you have the lord in spirit nobody should be in a place and the unbelievers are taking advantage you have the exploits of mind nobody should be in any place born again carry the holy ghost and be dominated from today go and take dominion from today go and take charge from today go and take the authority from today go and rule from today go and take authority from today be baptized with the spirit of excellence from today go and break that barrier break that resistance break that restraint break that force you are not an ordinary entity you are an entity of the spirit you are not an ordinary person you are influenced by the spirit of god so i i dare challenge you like the way jesus walked upon the earth jesus was lord over 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 natural natural laws this dominated the realms of disease and infirmity this had dominated the realm of money and gold this had dominated the realm of food this had dominated everywhere there was no scarcity anywhere among jesus mantaka randa siata robo gobra deities don't let somebody point paint a jesus that was not the jesus that walked upon the earth he was a master over circumstance master over disease master over affliction master over trouble he was master over storms and waves master over master over economic crisis a man could feed five thousand people uh, from the realm of the supernatural a man can draw gold and pay taxes for a whole corporation in one time a man that work as a master over all issues of life i'm telling you that's whom you are following the bible says, looking unto jesus who is the author and the perfecter of our faith who for the joy that was set before him he endured the cross despising the shame and he sat down right and the bible says, consider him that endured such contradiction of sin against himself unless you will be tired and you'll be weary i see people rising up with power and authority in the day the holy ghost is not given for falling the holy ghost is not full it's, it's, it's not it's not only given for falling when you went down and the holy ghost came to you you must understand what you received you must understand what you the unction the anointing you must understand what it contains when the bible said that touch not my anointing it was not advice nobody will touch a naked wire if you are in your correct senses you will not touch the naked wire when the bible said that touch not my anointed he was not advising them and counseling them if they touch you they will know let the witches try let them try. let them tell you when they see an anointed what they see they see no go warning sign the warning sign is like something literal is burning and nobody wants to die tell them what they ask ask the occult what they see when they see an anointing it's not like they are trying it's something you don't do. you dare you will be crucified you dare you will be buried you dare you will be destroyed when the fire is burning listen to me you are a dangerous entity on the earth 
Even in the realms of the spirit, you are too dangerous to be ventured. When men see you, when the realm of demonic world, they see you, they avoid you. Look at the life of Jesus. Anywhere he goes, anywhere he goes to, the demons will beg him, why have you come to torment us? Why are you here, Lord? Because that presence is intimidating factor. You see, can you be in an atmosphere when you're has been choked you are dying within that is how the presence of god is you get into trouble you get into demonic presence it's like their life source has been taken you have come there with like intimidating force and they have to check out from today you get to that home witches will not fly from today you get to that place demons will not operate from today you get to that place you are intimidating forces as somebody is working with the power of god from today that business will respond from today the wisdom is coming oh my goodness oh my goodness oh my goodness up uh, speaking in second corinthians chapter one the verse second timothy chapter one the verse seven is that for god has not given us the spirit of fear that means fear is a spirit god had not given us please you don't have it you are you don't have fear god had not given us what god did not give uh, where is it coming from? fear of fear of calamity fear you didn't have so you don't have any fear whatever it is no matter the disease no matter the affliction no matter whatever they say fear is not part of you but he has given us a power Calibus. so the spirit is power of love and of sound mind Ability to think accurately and make the best decision is a product of the spirit. Ability to make right judgment. You look at people's choices in life and realize that they don't have the Holy Spirit. When the Holy Spirit empowers you, you make investment is correct. The wisdom will tell you where to put that money. The wisdom will direct you. When the Holy Spirit is upon you, the Holy Spirit can fight you from going somewhere. You, if there will be trouble, the, you will see a fight. You know, the Holy Spirit can resist a man and say, You can't be a fool. I am the spirit of wisdom. You won't be a fool. And so, the Holy Spirit even will resist your foolishness until you begin to take correct. You, you, cannot, end, you cannot carry the Holy Spirit and end up into a trash. I see somebody rising like a, an entity upon the earth. I see somebody walking as an entity of the spirit upon the earth. Oh, this morning something is happening. It's raining online. It's raining online. It's oh my God. Oh my God. Time is always a burden. This morning, this morning, I just want to declare because our time is up. I want to declare upon you. But you came here because I want to get this dimension over to your spirit. The more you understand the, the nature of the Holy Spirit, knowing that the Holy Spirit is not empty, it's not just an oil. It is this, it is, it is this day that we carry holy oil to church and anoint people. But what God instructed Mo, Moses to do as holy ointment is olive. Olive has a mixture. We call it the ointment. In, is, in Israel, in, in, in Israel, in Israel, there was always a physician. And these are the things they use. If you check the physicians, this, the elements they use were the, some of the use they used to treat the, the diseases of the people of Israel in the old times. So when the, when the time of the calamity, the prophet cried out and shouted with tears. And he said, is there not a physician? Is there not a bomb in Gilead? Is there not a physician there? Wounds of my daughters not healed. How can somebody in trouble when there's a bomb in here? How can somebody, how can somebody, how can somebody be destroyed in the church when there is a bomb in Gilead? How can somebody be destroyed when there is an anointing on the land? How can somebody die of cancer, die of HIV, die of arthritis? How can somebody be molested by evil forces when there is a bomb in Gilead? From today, there is a bomb on the land of Gilead. There is a healing virtue there. And somebody you are walking out of that disease permanently. Somebody is walking out of that infirmity permanently. Somebody is breaking that disease permanently. Somebody is coming out. There is a bomb in Gilead. There is, there is a bomb in Gilead. There is a bomb in Gilead. There is a bomb in Gilead. There is a physician here. The physician is Dr. Jesus. Dr. Jesus is here. Dr. Jesus is here. Jesus is here. Doctor Jesus is here. Montoko Rabadiata.
from today, I want you to walk in the world. Be afraid of nothing. The only fear the child of God is supposed to sustain is the fear of God. When you fear God, let that fear take you away from the fear of all things. I can't fear God. When you bow to God, you can't bow to disease. When you bow to God, you can't bow to poverty. You can't bow to witches. You can't bow to waters. Your knees have already been humbled and has already been humbled by God. You stand tall over every circumstance. And it's so amazing that in the Bible, the greatest warrior, was the greatest worshiper. And you may think that that humility of worship with tears and that emotions of worship is not connected to rulership. But the more you are deeper with God, the more you dominate your world. Bowing before God is a symbol of dominion over the earth. No wonder the symbol of rulership in the realms of the spirit is called yada, empty hands. When a man surrenders to God, he doesn't surrender to any man. When a man takes refuge in God, no situation takes him by surprise. We are already submitted. We can't submit to any power of darkness. We are already submitted. Life cannot humble us. We have already humbled in Christ. We, all, we have already submitted to Christ. We are already humbled in Christ. And life cannot humble us. We take charge of our world. Prosperity is yours. Abundance is yours. Favor is yours. Increase is yours. Grace is yours. Mantaka diata. Lift up your eyes around you. And see. Increase everywhere. What and see. Your grounds have been watered one more time. What and see the unction of the Holy Spirit is upon you. You are the appointed of God. You are the chosen of God. You are the anointed of God. Mantaka ziatas. Makara ziendeles. Meske fredike setalis. Bobondo gosietas. Zika de gondo gosietas. No gate can close against you. No territory can deny you. No nation can reject you. No people can make you useless in the name of Jesus. A generation is arising and this generation will do exploits. A generation is arising. We will walk in the realms of fire and the realms of glory. A generation is arising. We are not ordinary men. Don't count us among men. Count us among the spirit. That is who you are. I see the grace of God upon you. It is raining this morning. 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 It is raining power. It is raining fire. It, it is raining power. Karabasiatas. Glory, 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 glory. This morning rain altar is really working. Is that in one of the episodes, Paul prophesied that a contract was being awarded to someone. And before that, we were working on a contract at Newmont, Ghana. They will enter CVS, CCA, and later abandon the program. If you are not in Ghana, you don't understand this. But a master's program, nobody has graduated since he entered two years ago. Some people enter, they go to their CCA. He said, they will enter the fifth and the CCA and later abandon the program. I started working so that I can graduate within the stipulated time of two years, but to no avail. I also entered the third year, which is this year. I finished everything, and one lecturer was always trying to put me back one way or the other. Meanwhile, I needed him to be able to submit my thesis. So I took him to this morning rain altar, and Reverend declared divine confirmation that week, and I received it with faith and prayed. When I sent the thesis for him to sign this time, he only asked me, show me where to sign. So I was shocked, but at the same time, thankful to God. A 
it work and in the space of one month i have finished my submission and i also defended my thesis i want to thank god and bless god and appreciate god for what he had done and thank the reverend for this great work of god in my destiny this altar is pro is, is god is working mightily on this altar with signs and wonders god is working mightily on this altar with power and glory and i declare that you will testify here dedicate your ministry dedicate your marriage here dedicate your business dedicate the task that god bring, the breakthrough that god bring, and i decree and declare keys of opportunities to release on this morning ring altar keys of businesses keys of job keys of marriages keys of ministry keys of miracles keys of supernatural encounter keys many people people are walking into their own apartment people are completing project this year people are walking into their own home from tenant into re from tenant into ownership people are walking in power i decree and declare anything you have started this week speed is released upon it I declare supernatural hand takes you through. Walk in glory in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. We give you praise. We give you glory. We give you honor. We worship you. Glory. Glory. It is raining. 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 Please, this is a wonderful family. God bless you for praying with us. I can't wait to start another week Monday. I can't wait. I I'm so I'm so tired to prepare for Monday. And what God is about to do on Monday, you will be ready. I'm already fired in my spirit. The prophecy is already cooking in my bones. And I believe that after the prophecy is released, somebody your destiny will never be the same. So be expecting to tap into this week prophecy. But this week prophecy, the power of God. This week we are dealing with the power of God on this altar. And I believe that you will receive power. Therefore, I release you to experience the power. Leads you to walk in power and leads you to come back to the testimony of the power of God. Anything that I've not been working will respond this week. Anything that I've been down will respond this week. Anything that I've been buried will respond this week. Go with grace and go with power. See you again next week. We love you so much. Take good care of yourself. If you are not born, give yourself to Jesus. Just invite him to your heart. Confess him as Lord and Savior. And I declare your life will never be the same. We love you so much. Take good care of yourself. Take good care of yourself and see you again and again and again. Have a wonderful day and a wonderful weekend. Enjoy it. Tomorrow is Sunday. God bless you. We love you. Glory to God. Family, God bless you. God bless you. We have come to God, the judge of all. We have come to the spirit of this man be made perfect. And we have come to an innumerable company of angels. And to the church of the firstborn, we have we have come to the city of the living God. We have come to God, the judge of all. We have come to the spirit of this man be made perfect. And we have come to an innumerable company of angels. And to the church of the firstborn, we have, we have come to the city of the living God. We have come to God, the judge of all. We have come to the spirit of this man be made perfect. And we have come to an innumerable company of angels. And to the church of the first.